John here guys and today we have a frame overview preview of the Racer X Twig XL and everything about the Twig has been beefed up to be extra large check out this new thicker beefier three inch frame it's thicker than a snicker that comes in um at a really handsome size and weight and check out some of this racer x swag that i got thanks uh, for that and uh look at the printed pod look at it it is now made for a micro size camera and check out the fancy dual layer design um excellent excellent 3d printing on this thing there by phoenix 3d printing solutions now it also comes with a set of hq three by three by three props i really am enjoying those beefier um sort of more of a steeper pitch prop and um of course the signed racer x uh, strap very nice indeed now let's get to the frame itself um in addition to that, it also comes with lots of goodies, some hardware, sticky mount battery pad, and arm guards. Uh, those 3D printed arm guards are very handsome. And since this is a unit body um, bottom plate design, you'll want to keep those arms nice and safe. And it's very nice that they include a set of those um, for you. Now, the frame itself is thicker than the original twig. And look at all the different mounting hole solutions on there. That allows you to have the standard whoop toothpick um, style mounting board as well as a 16 by 16 or a 20 by 20. Um, and all of these uh, different holes really give you the versatility to build your toothpick, or I'm sorry, your, really give you the versatility to build your twig XL the specifications that you would want. Now, the other thing you can notice is that, unlike the original twig, the XL actually has mounting holes for the pod that are outside of that standard toothpick board design. So they're gonna sit on some standoffs as you can see here. Here we have the original twig, um, which is also a three inch, but a little bit smaller. And uh, I'm showing you kind of what the two look like side by side. So there have been some revisions, changes made in order to accommodate the different size um, boards. This is actually the stretch version, which will give you some really interesting flight characteristics on there. I can't wait to get this thing built up and show those to you. Um, but overall, very, very familiar. Check out the quality of the print on the arm guards as well. All around, just extreme. Um, luxury and plush now as we take a little bit closer of a look now mine of uh, this pre-release is painted up to show you how you can go and paint yours if so desired I don't believe they're gonna ship that way but correct me if I'm wrong um, the the canopy design is a very similar shape so that you can have your uh, VTX antenna kind of zip tied up to the top to keep it safe uh, a little bit pokey up there for some turtle mode abilities and various holes in there so that you can mount your cameras. Uh, and I, like I said, this one is enlarged to be able to accommodate micro size camera. There are two holes um, so that you can have the further one back for a larger lens like the Predator or the Micro Eagle or use the front one for more of a swift style. Um, the standoffs that it comes with allow you to mount that pod a little bit raised and then your electronics will all come in that center stack and because people can probably use a really wide variety of motor sizes on this thing this one is you know going to allow you to have a little bit more versatility in your motor size you can potentially go up to a 1407 1408, 1507, 1606, who knows? Possibilities are endless. So what am I gonna go with? I have a couple of options to choose from, so stay tuned. The full build flight overview of this thing is gonna be coming very, very soon. Um, what are you guys gonna be doing? What size motor are you gonna put on your Twig XL? Uh, are you going for speed? Are you going for smoothness? Are you going for 
just a little bit luxury in size. What are you guys doing? I'll have mine up very soon. Thanks, guys.